This video will demonstrate how to empty the bladder using a urinary stoma. For more information, please see the video called Surgery for Neurogenic Bowel and Bladder. The contents of this video should be discussed and reviewed with your surgeon. People with a neurogenic bladder often have to catheterize or wear a diaper. Dr. Scott Berkman talks about why a stoma may be an option. So sometimes some of the kids have uh, tried catheterization before and they're unable to get into the bladder because of irregular channels that they've developed in their urethra. So if they can't get in or if they have pain getting in, then we try to create a channel so that they can catheterize through their abdominal wall. And so a channel can be made out of preferably the appendix. And if the appendix is not available, we can make a tube out of the small intestine and create a catheterizable channel between the skin and the bladder. Here are the supplies you will need. Soap and water or antimicrobial hand gel, a self-lubricating catheter or a catheter with separate lubricant, antiseptic wipes, something to collect the urine if you're not in a bathroom, a non-drying band-aid. Jaden is here to demonstrate. Hi, my name is Jaden and I'm gonna tell you how to empty your bladder using your stoma. First, you get your, gather your supplies and prepare them. Next, you wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds. Or you can use hand sanitizer if you have it. Um, you put your shirt, you can take off your shirt or put your shirt to your chin. Use a wipe to clean your stoma. Prepare your catheter. There are many types of catheters that can be used for clean intermittent catheterization. Talk to your doctor about what is best for you. Place your catheter, catheter in the stoma, but don't force it. Make sure it's all the way in so you can completely empty your stoma. Make sure all the urine comes out. Sometimes it takes a while. When you're done, put the dirty catheter in the trash. And then place a Band-Aid over your stoma. Wash your hands again. It's pretty easy. Here are some things you can do to keep your stoma healthy. Keep your stoma clean. You can use soap and water or an antiseptic wipe. Protect your stoma by keeping it covered with a bandage. Use a non-stick bandage like Telfa, Primapor, or a regular Band-Aid. If the tip of the catheter will not slide into the stoma, gently twist, but don't force it. If there is a small amount of bleeding from your stoma, clean it with warm soapy water, apply some bacitracin or neosporin, and then apply a Band-Aid. If you don't get any urine when you try to catheterize, reposition the catheter so it lies lower in the bladder. You should call the doctor if you have any of the following problems. If urine leaks around the catheter, you may need a larger size. Call the doctor to discuss a different catheter size. Stenosis means the stoma is too tight. If you can't pass the catheter, you may have stenosis. Call the doctor if you have this problem. Call the doctor right away for signs of infection. These include fever, chills, back pain, increased spasm of the legs, abdomen, or bladder, unexpected urine leakage, pain in the bladder area, headache, nausea, redness around the stoma, or a bad smell to the urine. Now that you've watched this video, show your doctor or nurse how to catheterize your stoma. Tell your doctor or nurse how to problem solve. Tell your doctor or nurse when you will call for assistance.